Is it true that you've never had a cup of coffee? Uh, it is true that I have never had a cup of coffee. And when I was going to culinary school, I had to wake up every day at 4.30 in the morning. Okay. And I still didn't drink coffee, and everyone at my school thought I was a lunatic. And maybe I am. Okay. What did you... I mean, was there black tea, maybe? There uh, was jasmine green tea okay. with honey. With very little caffeine in there. Yes. Okay. But lots of flavor and lots of warmth, and I love it. So where are you from Canada originally? Were you, were you born in Canada? I was born and raised in Canada. Okay. And you moved here? From Tokyo. Okay. In like 1995 or 6, I don't even remember. So you've been in New York for 20 years. Minus three that I thought I wanted to live in LA. Okay, how was LA? LA sucks. Okay. No, LA doesn't suck, the people suck. Okay. So it was back to like, you know, New Yorkers. We tell it how it is. We don't stab you in the back, we we'll say it to your face. Okay. No one knew what to do with me over there and I didn't know what to do with myself. Okay. So are you still modeling? No. Okay. I have... You are chefing. I am chefing. Awesome. Do you have anything that you just really, really enjoy? Now, can I say cooking? Because you're actually cooking. I don't want to say yes. chefing, right? Don't be okay. dramatic. <laughs> so when you are in the kitchen, is there any one particular thing that you enjoy more? Not, not necessarily one dish, but just a cuisine that you prefer to, to I cook? love braising. So my okay. Cabernet braised short ribs are unbelievable. My braised lamb shank is mind-blowing. Well, I mean, everything I make is delicious, but I love braising. My uh, bolognese sauce is... I call it my meat orgy bolognese because okay. there's like six different animals stuffed in a pot with wine and love and onions and carrots and you celery. Love? Is that love. love. That's like the secret ingredient that okay. makes everything taste good. You're a personal chef. Yes. So what is what's involved there? You go, people contact you and say, hey, I'm having a dinner for... Yes. X amount of people. I and show up to people's houses. It's a crap shoot because you never know. I had a guy hire me to cook for him and I got there and there was not a single pot, pan, spoon, dish. So I had to order everything for his kitchen and I came back the week after and okay. cooked. So you never and know what you're going to get. Who are some of the most interesting people you've cooked for? Tara Patrick, she's a famous porn star. Okay. I did her St. Patrick's Day meal with her. I've also cooked for The Rock many times, which Dwayne is... Dwayne Johnson? Dwayne Johnson, Does yes. he go by The Rock? And, and, like, if you talk to him, do you say, hello, Rock? I don't talk to him. I talk to his army of assistants. Okay. What did you cook for The Rock? Dwayne needs lots of steak, lots of white rice. He eats, like, eight meals a day. And so you're, you're, you're doing like this factory lineup of cooking and it's not for me, so I don't do it anymore. Okay. He's a big, big dude. He's very big, yes. Big guy. I know you've competed on cook, sh cooking shows. Chopped would so be one chopped, of them. Chopped, okay. Yes. Um, how far did you get there? Out of four people, I was the second one kicked off. Okay. Then I did 24-hour restaurant battle. That I won. Okay. And then I did Food Network. What did you cook for that? We had to... lots of stuff. Okay. Chinatown meatball sub, pasta. I would say the chocolate chip cookies were the winning dish. The chocolate chip cookies. And the, meat, the Chinatown meatball sub, as it was called. We have this segment that we're asking everybody the same five questions. And so I'm going to give you these five questions and just 
the first thing that comes to your mind. What is your favorite scent? Madison Square Park by Bond. Or if I had to pick a natural scent, it would be Jasmine. Okay. Do you own any inflatable furniture? Yes. I have an inflatable mattress. Awesome. You're welcome to come and jump around on it if you're bored one day. I, I think I might take you up on that one. When day. you're in your 96th Street Birch location, because I live right there. I can come and jump on your mattress. Yes. It's inflated with air. Awesome. Yes. Um, cool. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for participating. My pleasure. It was good to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Thank you.